Here with Reed Spencer of the NASCAR Wire Service. I'm Cine Sports Noah Kozlov. We're previewing the AAA Texas 500 this Sunday afternoon at Texas Motor Speedway. We'll get to Reed's pick in a moment. He did pick Jeff Gordon to win last week at Martinsville, which Gordon did, advancing on to Homestead. Let's start with Matt Kenseth's suspension. What do you make of it? Well, obviously Matt helped me out with my pick, but <laughs> aside from that, I think that Brian France, NASCAR's chairman and CEO, made it abundantly clear that drivers are not to mess with the chase and drivers are not to radically alter the outcome, particularly in situations where they are lapsed down and are simply exacting revenge on another driver. That's not going to be tolerated. The two-race suspension was really unprecedented in terms of an action on the track in the Boys Have Added era. But I think that NASCAR wanted to make clear drivers are not going to be allowed to affect the outcome of the chase and affect the eligibility of the chase of other drivers in situations where they're not racing for the lead. So then do you think this suspension, the two-race suspension for Matt Kenseth, impacts how non-chase races are run, and then how does it impact this week? Well, I, I don't think you're going to see a, a driver who's eight laps down taking out the leader in this particular chase race at Texas. I think that is over and done with. And anybody who performs sort of a vigilante function in that case is going to be heavily penalized. Um, in the non-chase races, we really still have to see how that plays out. I think that NASCAR is going to take a dim view of anybody who is out of contention deliberately wrecking another driver. And that being the case, I think that um, I, I think that you will see some restraint going forward in that because nobody wants to be suspended and nobody wants to have their car or their sponsor off the track or another driver behind the wheel. All right, and finally, your pick? Well, I'm going to go with Joey Logano this week. He's going to win at Texas, where he's been strong before, and restore himself into the chase field. The youngest winner ever at Texas is Joey Logano. He is Reed Spencer of the NASCAR Wire Service. Great talking to you, Reed. Enjoy the race. Likewise, Noah.